I read the most amazing article in a health newsletter recently, and it was talking about how much people do not want to go inside and be with their own thoughts. <laughs> I know people sometimes say, oh, I could never do the five-day silent retreat. I could not be silent for five days. Well, once they get past that initial barrier, oh, yes, they do. And they fall in love with the presence in a way that is unprecedented. But what is that fear of going inside and being still and being with our thoughts? These scientists put people in a room and told them they were going to be in there for a particular time period, sometimes as short as 15 minutes, and that they couldn't look at their phone, they couldn't do anything. They had to just sit there and be with themselves. And they gave them a button that they could push attached to an electrode that was attached to the subject's body, and they could shock themselves if they couldn't stand the stillness. And it was amazing how many of these people would shock themselves rather than just be still with their thoughts. And I'm not surprised at all by these findings because one of our greatest fears is the, the silence. What we might feel if we go within and just be with ourselves doesn't surprise me at all. It explains the popularity of Facebook and video games and television and all of the many, many diversions, distractions that people flock to. It's just amazing this game we've devised, this game of life, <laughs> where we come here and try to forget and distract ourselves from who we really are. And a lot of spiritual seeking, while it looks like we're searching for ourselves, is actually a distraction to avoid the simple act of just going inside and being still and quiet and being with that very thing, that source, that we say we're seeking. Isn't it amazing? We humans are so interesting. But I do understand that any habit takes a little while to break the momentum of. And silence is the same way. So you could begin with, if you avoid going within, you could begin with being silent and still 10 minutes a day. You could focus on your breath. Just be with yourself for 10 minutes. Just focusing on your breath and letting your thoughts drift away like clouds in a lazy sky. And then you could work up to 10 minutes. Be with yourself for just 10 minutes with no distractions. And momentum then takes over. You begin to enjoy it. You've changed the trajectory of your momentum more toward enjoying going within. And then with Divine Openings, of course, you learn that you can be with whatever comes. The thoughts are not going to get the best of you. That you are the master of those thoughts. That you can accept and raise those feelings to higher vibrations. And the fear of going within into that quiet place diminishes. And a power emerges in you that is unimagined. So, enjoy becoming acquainted with that deeper you that can only be discovered in the silence within. The inspiration, the genius that awaits you, that is you. That all of the distractions actually keep you from discovering or getting to know better. Enjoy. Lola Jones divineopenings.com